Hello, we are still surviving the Ramadan in Morocco continuing the series of uh, what do you do during uh, Ramadan and how do you survive and how many places are open during the day, not that many a short answer um, after a long day of working at a co-working space um, you can tell how the, <laughs> the day went by looking at Eddie's face <laughs> we decided to go for a uh, evening walk in the Medina uh, of Marrakesh the bus to take us to the Medina there is a bus right next to our uh, building and um, once the bus arrives we should get to the center in about 15 minutes something like that but as you can see at this point um, it's around 7 p.m. and this is when iftar happens which is actually the fourth prayer of the day and the moment the uh, people, the locals break their fast during Ramadan and everybody is basically uh, at dinner right now so I just want to show you the street not a lot happening I mean there are some cars but like usually it's pretty busy area uh, so yeah and we are waiting for the bus and uh, we are still confused if the bus is uh, Coming or not, we don't know. The taxi wouldn't stop. Huh? The taxi wouldn't stop. The taxi wouldn't stop. Yeah, we're still waiting for the bus. I'll keep you updated. Okay, but let's go. Okay, so quick update. We made it to the Medina, the main square. Um, we couldn't find a bus, there was no bus, but uh, we managed to stop a taxi eventually. Uh, we couldn't uh, understand what the first one was saying, so the second one stopped and we got here for uh, 20 dirham. Yeah, he asked for 30 and then we negotiated to 20, which is almost a fair price. Nobody wants to use the meter anyway, so I think you have to take what you're offered at some point. Although we've been here before during the evening in the main square in the Medina, uh, I don't think I actually filmed this, so today we're gonna document this walk. Um, what happens during the evening is quite amazing that everybody comes together here and they build up this uh, food market um, and it's really amazing it's really big actually this square right here is I think one of the largest uh, square in uh, North Africa so that's quite quite amazing and it just all comes to life during the evening when they set up this uh, the food stalls and everything so I'm gonna show you right now um, Eddie actually is really excited he wanted to come as well but he really worked hard today he's a really hard worker what you don't know about Eddie is that he really loves to work and he does it like every day a lot so we have to thank Eddie for these amazing trips that we take all the time because <laughs> He likes to work so much. So, here is the market. I'm gonna show it to you.
Ar mīļi, ar grīļi, ar lamp šāpas, ar sardīļi, ar fiši kalamā, ar šrīms. Number 97. 97. 97 for the heavens. Welcome. Anda kadu peshiru asha peshiru As we arrived, Eddie drew all the attention of the vendors, and basically a bunch of them started to um, advertise their food <laughs> to Eddie, and Eddie was just ignoring all of them. No, no, I, I talked to them, but uh, <laughs> I, uh, I don't know if I'm taking my chances tonight. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go for a walk, but probably the camera is gonna attract a lot of uh, attention. That's why uh, I didn't want to bring my camera, but we have to do it at least once. Have my mic on. People usually find it really attractive, they want to know what it is. So here we go through the food stalls in the <laughs> main square in Marrakesh. Oh my god. And Eddie, of course, he looks like he has a lot of money. <laughs> so let's go. Please lead the way. What, what do you want to see first? <laughs> No, I have to just wait for you. Where are you from? Italy, see? Romania. Romania, Hajji, Bukharist. Number seven. Number we have a seven. picture number seven is the best. Okay, promise. <laughs> See you later. Big welcome. Big our uh, <laughs> walk through the food market Eddie is absolutely exhausted because he uh, was the main target of all the vendors there um, yeah so right now I think we're gonna go for a short walk through the actual stores uh, shops sorry in the Medina uh, maybe have a drink someplace because there are a lot of terraces opened for tourists on rooftops and uh, you know, just for some evening shopping. You're from Senegal? Yeah. Okay. I'm an artist. 
your artist. That's really this is nice. my artwork. Do you know what is that? I think these are some women. <laughs> you know how do you make it? The beach is free. With Morocco, with English. Check it out. With English, with Morocco. Speak. You. Look. Camera. Ah, no. Good price. Beach is free, lady. Here is Adidas. How much is it? Which one? Jilaba or Gandora? Which one, brother? How much is the grain? It's a bit less. That one? Yeah, it's a bit less. Here it is. Here's the color. You for lady? Very. For lady. Saidi just experienced uh, his first uh, <sighs> weird sale. Uh, like this guy wanted to sell him like this uh, traditional American um, dress for guys. I just went because I understood <laughs> he wanted to sell me drugs. <laughs> no, he wanted to sell you clothes and uh, he did not succeed it like um, because like they have no prices on stuff here on the market. <laughs> Eddie yeah, just asked like how much is this thing and then the guy said which one which one and he got like a new uh, dress from the shelf and then he said something like 480 uh, like in Moroccan money then he said not euro it's very cheap and that's like 50 almost 50 euros which is not a lot but it is for the market here and then I just said to the guy you know we are from Romania so basically <laughs> Our prices there is like the same as here in Morocco, so we are not really uh, rich. And then he just settled and he said, "Okay, okay, Romania." And then he went away. <laughs> so basically, I saved you. <laughs> Poverty saved me here. And apparently, I'm Ali Baba. So all my friends, I'm Ali Baba. In case I haven't mentioned already, okay, now the light's out, still here. Uh, basically, the Medina is this uh, huge maze of uh, narrow uh, alleys and streets uh, where you have shops and restaurants everywhere. Basically, these streets are too narrow for cars to drive around, but they have a bunch of scooters and uh, rickshaws and other tiny mopeds and such and uh, at this hour which is like around nine I would guess um, some shops are already closed now we are in this weird alley but some shops are still open um, a lot of tourists are just walking around just looking at stuff and everybody's just hoping to sell you something I just realized that the dress that the guy was trying to sell to Eddie was a dress for the, the guys, like traditional Moroccan uh, outfit for a man. It was like three times more or something. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, Eddie didn't fall for it because he doesn't need a dress. Because he's cheap. Now Eddie is in charge with the map because I have no more internet. Uh, we have basically no idea. We need to go back, explore a bit, some more, and then go back to sleep because tomorrow we have very early uh, start. We plan to take a eight-hour train for a weekend trip to Tangier. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>